Welcome to Frog Detective 2, the case of the invisible wizard. All right, it's time to head into the second Frog Detective game. On to doing more detective stuff. Let's go. Bye. On to the next one. Maybe we can actually see anything with our magnifying glass. All right. Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency, Frog Detective speaking. Hi, Detective. Hi, Supervisor. Why did you hang up on me? Huh? We were talking just a moment about a new case. The one at Warlock Woods, right? Yeah. I hang on because I got too excited about solving another mystery. That's understandable. What can you tell me about this new case? It's a doozy, Detective. Hold on to your hat. Supervisor, you know I can't wear hats. Sorry. Anyway. Well, it was a fairly small town up north. You don't get many visitors around there. A couple days ago, a new resident moved in. A shy kind of gal doesn't like to be the center of attention. Anyway, she settles into the new house and doesn't go outside to greet anyone. The residents of the town feel like they need to welcome her properly. So they organize our welcoming parade. Great idea. Absolutely. But someone in the town seemed to think otherwise. Last night, the parade decorations were destroyed. What? I know, right? So rude. Anybody has, nobody has any leads in this case that don't know who done it. That's where you come in, detective. That's me. I'm the detective. I am aware. Well, like Woods is a magic town, so it's not the easiest place to get to. You'll need to take an enchanted cart to the end of the line, then travel the rest of the way on foot. Too easy. You'll need to question everybody to get to the bottom of things. Do you think you can solve the mystery? Hmm. Yep. Great, up to it. Here. Oh, I forgot to mention, the new resident of the woods is special. She's invisible. Ah, that was loud. And a wizard. Okay, an invisible wizard. Cool. Um, is there even a new resident? <laughs> What's the relevance of being invisible? Nobody knows what she looks like, so they're really excited to find out. Hence the parade and the decorations and the celebrations. They want her to be uninvisible, de-invisible, uh, visible. Exactly. Anyway, do you have everything you need? Um, I have my shoes, my jammer, my pants, and I think I'm missing something. Your magnifying glass, of course. It's on the table next to the door. Once you pick it up, you're ready to solve the mystery. Thanks, supervisor. Good luck, detective. Okay. We got this. Uh, my trusty magnifying glass. I can't solve mysteries ever. Well, maybe I could, but I wouldn't want to. <laughs> you got to have my magnifying glass. Hmm. Let's go. Lobster cop. <laughs> oh my god, it's lobster cop. What are you doing, lobster cop? <laughs> the best detective. Hi. Hi, it's the famous frog detective. Famous? I'm not famous. Haha, <laughs> perhaps not, but I'm sure you will be soon. Well, I hope so. What brings you to my office, detective? Uh, well, I was just leaving my office, actually. I work next door, right here. Oh, I thought that was a cupboard. Nope, that's my office. I've been putting all my cleaning supplies in there. Yes, I've noticed. I'm in there working every time you do it. I even say, this is my office. And then you say, sure is, little cleaning frog. Then I say, I'm a crop sewing frog, not a cleaning frog. But usually you're gone already. Excuse my ignorance, detective. I wasn't trying to offend. I'm a very busy boy, head full of mystery. Sometimes I forget to be polite. If I was polite all the time, I would never have to solve my crimes. I understand. Maybe that's why I'm not as talented as you, lobster cop. Perhaps, but detective, you must keep trying. Never give up. I can give you some tips if you'd like. Wow, yes, please. Tip number one, pay attention. <laughs> you should make sure you are looking at things and paying attention to words. Yes, quite right. Tip number two, everyone is a suspect. Even you. I will suspect myself much more from now on. Good call. Tip number three, carry your notebook. Oh, I'm not really big on books. They are, without exception, factually inaccurate. Detective, don't be foolish. A book you write yourself cannot be factually inaccurate if you are writing facts. I suppose you're right. I don't have a notebook though. Well, it's your lucky day. I have a spare notebook on my desk. 
You can decorate it and use it all you like. Wow, really? Yep. There are stickers you can use too. I bought them with my crime solving money. Cool. I'll let you get to it, detective. Head into my office when you're ready to decorate. Okay, thanks, Lobster Cop. Uh, oh, are these all your cases you've been solving? Damn. Notes. Detective, hmm, which sticker should I pick and where should they go? How many can I pick? I gotta get my magnifying glass on there. Decorate your notebook. I don't know. Uh, how am I gonna decorate it? Trophy. A frog. Me. Some hearts. Um... Oh, you can put multiple of the same sticker. Is this an eye? Robot. Uh, what else do I want? There's an egg. Oh, there's just a couple. There's just multiple. Couple of each. Hmm. Flower. What is this? <laughs> Looks amazing. There we go. I'm done. Yep. <laughs> Got a notebook. Tab. Magnify a notebook. Okay. Invisible wizard. Suspicious. Ooh, I like this. Oh, your book decorating coming along. It's all right there on the desk, you know. I know. I was taking my time as well. Well, I haven't got all day. Just kidding. I do have all day. Take as long as you need. All right. I've done it. Guess I'm leaving. All right. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Who's this? Oh, that's the, uh, the supervisor. Time to solve another mystery. Let's go and do it. Oh, is this my magical cart that I'm taking? Up on and go. Bob presents. Alright. Riding along. <laughs> Close up. Not this way. Alright, time to walk the rest of the way now. So why is this place throughout the way? It's Warlock Woods. Do, 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 do. Starring the detective. Susan. Ralph. Mandy. Mary. And several more characters. What were the invisible... The Invisible Wizard. Frog Detective 2, the case of the Invisible Wizard. Let's get to it. Alright. Gotta solve this case. We're here. Oh, stuff looks all messy. Alright, let's uh, talk to... Susan. Oh my stars, it's you. It's me, the famous lobster cop. Uh, are you really thought you'd be a lobster? Uh, no, I'm a frog. Yeah, why is your name lobster cop? I have to tell you something. I am not lobster cop. Why not? I don't know how to answer that. Who are you? I'm the detective. A uh, frog detective, I see. Was lobster cop not available? Unfortunately not. Well, I think you'll do just fine. Thanks. I'm Susan. Hi, Susan. Hi. I'm the one that contacted the agency, which I think you'll find excludes me from being a suspect. No? Oh, I didn't know that was how it worked. You should know these things, detective. I'm sorry. It's okay. I think you should still question me, though, to remove all doubt. Okay. Question me all you like. About the wizard. 
Do you know the wizard personally? Nobody knows her personally. Well, not here at least. Not me. Right. But I had a lot to do with the organization of the parade. And, and I was the one to start the investigation. You mentioned that. It's worth bringing up again. So you were fine with her moving to the town? Absolutely. That old house has been empty for years and it's really nice someone wants to live there. Needs a lot of fixing up, but it'll look nice soon, I think. Plus, it's always exciting to have a new neighbor. Sure is. I put a sign up. I uh, uh, put up a sign I made for the wizard, but it got knocked down last night. Welcome. I'm feeling pretty sad about it, if I'm honest. I know you're here to solve the mystery, but I just need to tell someone how I feel. You could talk to me about it. Thank you. I'm not a professional sign maker yet, but I worked really hard on this sign. Really, I struggled to understand why someone would knock it down. It feels so heartless, and I'm not sure who to trust. I thought everyone would be thrilled to have a new neighbor. It's a tricky situation for sure. Some people were protective of their communities and think new people are going to change things for the worse. But that's almost never the case. New people make houses better because they bring new perspectives, especially in small communities. Hopefully it's just a misunderstanding or a mistake. I like to believe people are good. That being said, I'm treating everyone as a suspect. But not me, right? Even you, especially you. Especially me. Oh no. Sorry, not sure why I said that. Oh, well, you're not on the hook just yet. That's it. Detective, I could could you please find me a hook? I gotta hang the sign back up with it. Oh, okay, I'll do my best. Wish me what you like. About last night, you are a suspect. Where were you on the night in question? I was at home needing a jumper for the wizard. Really? Yeah, I picked all the colors myself and everything. I thought I'd admit it's a bit hard to focus on knitting. Why is that? I get so distracted by the wool, it's so fun to play with. I play with it so much that I unravel the whole thing and it goes everywhere. <laughs> it's a big new it no renaissance. Fuck, I can't say that word. Nuisance, that's it. I couldn't think of it for a second. It's a big nuisance. I understand. But I was concentrating on knitting so much that I didn't notice destruction of the parade. I'm sorry. Did you notice anything at all? Hmm. Now that I think of it, I saw a big van out near the entrance to Warlock Woods. It didn't drive in or I would have heard it. I didn't worry about it at the time, of course. Huh. That's all I remember. Sorry. No worries. Question mail, you're like, no, no, I think that's it. Okay. Um. Tab. My book. Susan. Motive. Maybe she didn't like a sign to show the parade. Person needs something to fix her sign. Notes. So she's not suspicious. Makes so much for business. She realized upset about the parade being destroyed. Worked really hard on her sign. Saw a van near the entrance last night. Hiya! Suspicious. Alright. This was Ralph, right? Hello, little frog. I'm Ralph. <laughs> Why are you yelling? I'm just making sure you can hear me. I can hear you. You don't have to yell. You're very small. Might be difficult for you to hear. I'm small, but I'm also very close to you. Being small isn't the same as being far away. Are you sure? You can hear me at this volume? Yes. Weird. I'm the detective. I'm here to solve the mystery. Really? Yes, but you're so small. <laughs> I'm an average frog height. Hmm. Can I ask you some questions about the case? Question me, huh? About the wizard. How do you feel about the wizard moving in? Hmm. There's nothing against the wizard, but I've been living with my friend Carlos for a while and our space is big, but I would really like my own home. Oh. I've been eyeing up that old house for ages. I thought maybe I'd move in one day, but the wizard got there first. I see. The bug. It's my fault, I guess. I shouldn't hold it against the wizard. Hmm. This house is twice as big as the other, all the other houses. Maybe you could renovate it and turn it into two houses. You could split it down the middle. Or have one house upstairs and one house downstairs. Like in an apartment. That's a pretty cool idea. I like Carlos and everything, but I'm a private boy. I understand. I don't have any renovation supplies, though. Hmm. I'll see if I can track some down for you. Thanks a lot for your help, detective. Maybe if I do a good job, I'll get my own building show. I'm excited to see it. Questioning me, huh? Bet your eye. May I ask why you have an eye patch on? That's Ralph's business. Oh, it'd be really good for me to know why you have an eye patch. Sometimes a boy just wants to wear an eye patch. That shouldn't make me suspicious. Put on for fashion? Kind of. Detective, I don't want to get into this too much. But I watched a movie last night about pirates. And I loved it. And there's another three left. And there's another three left. There's three whole movies. Can you believe it? Sequels? I've never heard of a movie having a sequel before. I know, right? User sequels are reserved for video games. Yes, it's extremely normal to have a video game sequel, especially for games of large audience like the Toad Investigation series. Yeah, anyway, I was watching a pirate movie last night. That's where I was. And for the reason I decided to wear a high patch. Okay, I'll leave it at that. My thanks. Question to me, huh? No. 
Well, that's not really an alibi. And this is someone in this car was with you. I just have my book for me. I was gonna do this. I wanted to call it because of ruckus. <laughs> Notes. As pirates, I patch can I only a private boy who wants to renovate. Too small. Okay. Well, just like the uh, lobster cop said, everyone is suspicious. Hey, yeah. <laughs> right, let's take it off. You're not that suspicious, not yet. The dog. Hi there. Hmm. What? Huh? Who are you? The detective. Oh, I thought Lobster Cop was coming. Huh? What? Did you say something about Lobster Cop? No. But I heard. Can you just for agree by bot? Wait, what? Are you saying it out loud? Why are you speaking like that? Like what? Like this? Really quiet. Whoa. Is this what tele telepathy is? Can you hear this frog? You're saying everything out loud. Wait, is that out loud? Wow, this frog has a temper. Anyway, who are you? I'm Nutty. Okay, I'm the mayor of Warlock Woods. Okay, was it that you asked for me to come? No, I would have asked for Lobster Cop. I really need to emphasize that I can hear you. Stop this thing. Okay, can I ask you some questions about the case? I guess so. About last night. Can you tell me about last night? Nothing. Oh, but I can tell you about the wizard. I know basically everything there is to know about her. That's great. First of all, she's a wizard. Uh-huh. And she's invisible. <laughs> great. And she just moved in. Yep. And she's a wizard. Okay. No, I don't think I did. Right. Okay. Sorry. It's fine. Anyway, tell me what you want to know about the wizard. So how do you feel about the wizard coming to live here? Ah, uh, okay. how do I answer this? Well, I'm happy she's here. That house has been empty for ages. And I didn't know she was coming, all right? Nobody told me, you see? Aren't you the mayor? I think so, anyway. She kind of came in at a weird time of night. And I, well, I thought that she was a ghost. Oh, yeah, it was a bit messy. Oh, I tried to vacuum her. Uh, uh, huh? With a vacuum. I put it on the highest setting. It's just, oh. <laughs> just really went to town and tried to just vacuum. Okay. I think I really freaked her out. And now she won't come out of the house. Um... Please don't put me in jail. You're not going to jail. Jail isn't real, but you should probably apologize. Jail is not real in this world. Okay, sorry, detective. I mean to the wizard. Right, yeah. That's why I was helping with the parade. To apologize. But she hasn't been out of her house. Also, the parade is ruined. I see. This makes me sound really bad. I swear I wanted the parade to be lovely. As the mayor of the town, I booked a live band to play a song. But as you can see, the stage is gross and ruined now. The band is on their way, and I have no time to fix it. They're a very famous band. I wanted to be as professional as possible. If I only had a rug or something to use, I could cover up the mess. But the town is in destroy. I don't think I have time to track one down. Oh, no. Thank you for your concern. If you happen to find anything that would work, please let me know. we Will do. Oh, uh, no more questions, I don't think. I need the rug. Okay. Motive. Some history. I don't know about that. Probably the least suspicious, which means they're the most suspicious. I don't know. Uh, hide a cool band and play attack the wizard. So it's just. Okay. Three more people, or they're gonna be or even more. Hi there. Mandy. You're the detective, right? I'm Mandy. Hi, Mandy. Be careful where you step, detective. There's mess everywhere. I'm used to mess. Lucky you, I'm not. My my shoes are brand new. I can't get them dirty. Why don't you change shoes? Detective, are you joking? <laughs> I can't wear flats with this look. The proportions will be all wrong. Besides, these shoes are enchanted. Oh? The, I'm, the, I'm one of the few actual witches here in Warlock Woods. Most folks here are just fans of the spooky, which is fine and all, but it means a lot of the cleaning work will be mine to do. I never should have learned the tidying, that tidying up spell. It shouldn't take too long for me to clean up this mess, but first I need to find all my pies. What happened to your pies? Same thing that happened everywhere. Thought it'd be funny and knocked them all over. So annoying. I spent ages making them. Ah, I see. Well, do you mind if I ask you some questions? Tell me what you want to know about your pies. I need to find them. Do you need help? Yeah, yeah. Yes, detective. Seriously, I seriously need help. Straight up, I can't see anything right now. These glasses are so dark. It's unreal. It's such a dingus. This town is literally cloaked in eternal night. Why well, do I think sunglasses would be a good idea? They weren't a good idea. However, I don't regret it. That made me look amazing. Do you look? Do you think I look amazing? Yep. 
Jeez. Yep. Thanks. I do too. Worst project I've ever made in terms of practicality, but it brings the look to a new level. I may be a dingus, but I'm very stylish. <laughs> what were you talking about? My outfit. No, before that. Pies, right. You are over to help me pick my pies. I'm missing quite a few. If you could bring them to me, I'd be happy to clean them all up and give you a payment. Okay, sounds like fun. Neat. Thanks, detective. About last night. Where were you last night? Doing easy push ups and getting ripped. I'm just just kidding. I was on whizbay.net where magic happens. Uh, what were you doing? Been on some new shoes. Uh, but you just got to but you just got these ones. Yeah, but the ones I was bidding for would go super well with this blue dress I have. Wow, cool. I know. I didn't win though. Who got the shoes? Not sure. All I know is their screen name. Someone called Dizzy Wizzy 109. Sorry to hear it. How do you feel when you lost? A bit defeated. I went for a midnight st stroll to cool off. But then I saw someone in the distance. It was a pretty foggy night, so I couldn't see much, but they were carrying a large box. I couldn't see what they looked like, but they definitely weren't from here. It felt like they were waiting for someone. I didn't think too much of it and went home. Hmm. Did you hear any noises after that? No, my house is soundproof. Ever since Mary has taken up singing, it's kind of a necessity around here. I only saw the mess in the morning. Interesting. Tell me what you want to know. That's enough. Took it down the parade. Five pies are gonna get in the game. Last time I was on, uh, someone knocked pies over. Suspicious. I'll leave it. There's a pie. Uh, I've got two more people to talk to, though. First. Mary, this is the singer. La. Ooh, la, la. Hello. Hello, fro. Hello, what's your name? I'm Mary. Nice to meet you. You too. Did you like my song? Hmm, yep. I'm practicing all day and all night. Oh, are you okay? I'm tired. Huh, maybe you should get some sleep. Maybe. So, so you sing very loudly. Yep, I'm with... I might everyone soundproof their houses. That sounds expensive. Yeah, but that's not really my problem. I think I sound very good even late at night. How late? I love to sing at 3 a.m. Wow, that's where my energy is at the highest. That doesn't sound very healthy. My health is my business. Oh, yes, that's true. Sorry. That's okay. Now I should listen to some soft sounds before bed. Whisper, whisper. Walk into my hair salon. Snip, snip. That will be 100 money. I don't have any hair or any money. That's okay. You can pay me back later. I was joking. Anyway, who are you? I'm a detective. Oh, cool. Can you question me? Do you mind if I... Sure. Oh, boy. I love questions. About the wizard. What do you know about the wizard that moved in? Ha uh, yeah? Oh, sorry. I didn't actually hear you. Uh, I was asking about the wizard. Oh, yeah. There's a wizard. She just moved in. Why? I'm a detective. Right. This is part of the questioning, right? Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, I didn't do any crimes or anything. And I have the right to remain silent? Yeah, but do you want to remain silent? Ha <laughs> ha. Literally never. So, like I heard about, Ralph was super weird about the new wizard moving in. Really? I mean, he told us kind of. Also, that Mandy was in bad mood that night that the prey raid was destroyed. And I heard that nobody liked Noddy, like, attacked the wizard one time. And that's all, actually. Does this make me so snitch? I think so. <laughs> Rats. Oh, boy, I love questions. Uh, about last night. What were you doing? Were you just singing? What were you doing when the parade was destroyed? Oh, boy, yeah. Sucks that the parade was destroyed. Oh, you were doing questioning. What was I doing? Not much, just singing outside. You were outside when the parade was destroyed? Yeah. Did you see anything? Yeah. What did you see? Detective! Have you heard of extortion? Yes. That's great news, is it? <laughs> Detective, I would like to extort you. I think that's legal. I am above the law. Oh, why are you extorting me? I would like five money for a train ticket. I don't have any money. Well, you best get some soon. What do you need a train ticket for? I want to go to Froggy Wood and become a star. Oh, that sounds exciting. I know, right? Sorry about the extortion thing, but I don't really have any money otherwise to get there. I think if you get the money for me, I can finally go and live my dreams. What would give me exchange information? What kind of information? A phone number. Who am I calling? I can't tell you that. All I can say is that they were the vicinity when the parade was destroyed. I don't think you'd be able to solve the case without this phone number. Hence the extortion. Sorry. It's okay. We all get stored every now and then. Yeah. Anyway, come back to me when you have my money. Oh, all right. Getting extorted by Mary. Lovely. So 
Some of these motors we're just kind of coming up with. <laughs> Another time everyone soundproofed the house. Want to be big stars extorting me. I've never been extorted before. What a thrill. Yeah. All right. Zebra. Hello. Carlos. Hey, a customer. Welcome to Carlos All Things You Could Need Shop. Are you Carlos? Yes. Just like the name of the shop. That's me. Haha. <laughs> How cool is that? The shop has my name in it. So cool. My company always has my name in it. What's your company called? Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. What's your name, Crime? Oh no. I'm the Frog Detective. That's not really a name though. More of a title. Oh, I suppose you're right. My shop actually has my name in it. Cool. I'm jealous. Thanks. Here in the Warlock Woods, we all are our own biggest fans. Being cited as a social, social construct. We have rejected it. Hence why my shop is so popular. I sell portraits, among other things. Wow, that's great. My this neighbor, Lobster Cop, has a picture of himself right above his desk. You know Lobster Cop? Yep. Holy heck. I've been a fan forever. You know he sold the mystery of the haunted island recently? <gasps> I'm offended. That's me. Oh, uh, I don't think it was actually me that solved it. Wait, really? It was all over TV. The desk of had a lobster in it. It did. It wasn't him. Oh, you must be thinking of Larry. You mean small Larry? No, just a regular sized lobster. Uh, no. Larry's a regular sized lobster. Not the Larry I know. Oh, well. I really disagree. I really did solve that mystery. It was me, the detective. Oh, that's really cool. Thanks. So you're like the second best detective, I suppose. Yeah. Two bonus answers some questions. Okay, what would you like to know? Don't worry. After I solve all these mysteries, like the third game, I'm going to be better than Lobster Cop. The night in question. Where were you last night? Just here in my shop. What about when you close up? My shop doesn't close. It's 24 hours. What if someone needs a portrait of themselves at 4 a.m.? You're open all the time? Sure I am. Of course, I sleep and eat and look after myself. My customers simply wake me up if they need to buy anything. Where do you sleep? I sleep standing up. Years of training. I'm the most committed shopkeeper in all of Warlock Woods. Also the only shopkeeper in all of Warlock Woods. Do you ever take breaks? Hmm, sometimes I really like it here in my shop. It's where I feel most at home. The extreme shopkeeper lifestyle isn't for everyone, but I take so much joy from my work. Me too. Although I must request that you look after yourself and close the shop if you need a break. Okay, I promise. Anyway, did you see anything last night? Nothing particularly interesting. Why? Uh, the crime. Huh? Hmm. I think I need to question you a bit more. Go for it. The wizard. So I guess you were just sleeping, even though you were like right here looking. What do you know about the wizard? You... Someone just moved. How the wizard that just moved in? Uh, who? The invisible wizard that moved in literally next door. Wait, really? Someone moved in? Yeah, that place has been empty for ages. I gotta say hi. Well, the parade was meant to be for saying hi. Parade? The parade that everyone has been prepping for. Wow, how nice. Can't wait. It was destroyed last night. What? This conversation is a roller coaster of information. I have literally no idea what's happening. You weren't involved in the decoration at all? Nope. Should I offer to help now? Wait, who is the parade for again? Is it for me? No, it's for the invisible. Where did she just move the next door? Right, okay. Uh, oh dear. The party hats. Pardon? Every time we throw a parade, everyone has party hats to wear. Mine was ruined at the last parade. I've been too busy working my shop to buy a new one. Oh no, how embarrassing. I can't show up to the parade without one. Do you think it's too late to order one online? It'll be tight. You're right. Uh, what should I do? Don't stress. I'll track one down for you before the parade starts. Oh my gosh, thank you, detective. Let me tell I'll figure out a way to repay you. Unfortunately, I don't have any fro just yet. Not a problem. What would you like to know? That's all for now. Can't re ask you the questions like everyone else. We'll be worried the wizard doesn't shop locally. <laughs> Probably the least suspicious, but maybe they're the most suspicious. Which really hard. Didn't know anything happened. Some stress, and they're so faking everything. Need more information. Oh, we're gonna get the pies. It's a lost pie. Hmm. <laughs> Suspicious. I could go into here. Hello, is anyone home? It sounds like somebody's inside, but I shouldn't intrude on them. I'll come back another time. Is this the invisible house? Or is that one? No, it's this one. Oh, hi. There's someone else. Two lost pies. Hello. Victor. Hi. Hello. Want to hop in? I'm just going to do another citizen. That's not too many others. A little bit, but I'm on the case. Oh, cool. I'm Victor. Who are you? The detective. Is that your real name? Maybe. Cool, cool. 
Are you here to question me and stuff? Because, like, I'm not suspicious. How do you know you're not suspicious? Well, I think I didn't do it. You think? Yeah, nobody knows anything for certain these days. So why are you here swimming? I'm visiting my friend, no Noddy. Oh, she's the only person I know with a hot tub. Plus, I heard that there was going to be delicious pies for the parade, so the timing was perfect. Where do you live normally? Over near Pumpkinville. Nice spot. I was thinking of taking a holiday there at some point. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Um, so anyway, can I ask you some questions about the case? Yeah, whatever. Questions about the wizard. Do you know about us about the Invisible Wizard before you came here? Eh, not really. I knew the parade was for her, but beyond that, I don't know a lot. Annoying that they never threw a parade for me coming to visit. I'm um, super cool. Have you been here before? So many times. The first time they even threw me a parade. You just said they didn't. Okay, I take the parade thing back. I just pretend I didn't say that. Sure. Detective, I'm really bored of this conversation. I'm sorry if that's rude, but I have a new policy of being honest with people. Were you being dishonest before? Yeah, I guess. I wouldn't tell people when they were boring me. I don't think that counts as dishonesty. So what am I supposed to do when people are boring? I'm not sure, but probably don't tell them. It would hurt their feelings. I didn't hurt your feelings though, did I? Well, I have to admit, I was a bit hurt. I have a very exciting job and I'm a frog and I solve mysteries. I don't think I'm boring at all. Sure, but I've seen heaps of frogs before. Plus, I've solved my fair share of crimes. Really? Which crimes? This one. You solved the crime already? Yeah. Ralph did it. How do you know? Um, good point. I haven't decided that bit yet, but it seems likely that he did it. What was his motive? His what? Uh, motive. The reason for destroying the parade. Oh, uh, I think because he has an eye patch on. I don't think that's a real motive. My motive that I wrote down was because of that, basically, because he was, like, into pirate stuff. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Also, maybe because of the house. Now, who's the rude one? This conversation is going anywhere. Neither are you, apparently. Not until I solved the mystery. Sorry for being rude, detective. I mean it. Just gotta get so grumpy when I'm hungry. Why don't you to eat something? I get out of the hot tub. No, I'm asking you just, like, you could ask someone to get you something to eat. Like who? There's nobody here. I'm here. Right. That I go being rude again. If you happen to find food, I would love to have some. In the meantime, I'd like to apologize for being so rude. Please take one money as an apology. I got one money. <laughs> I can give you a pie. I need to make sure there's enough, though. I'll, I'll do that after, when I find enough. Where were you when the parade was destroyed? Well, I had been swimming all day in Noddy's hot tub, so I was super wrinkly. Yep, and it was hard for me to get inside the house because of my wrinkly hues. Uh-huh, so I wanted to wait for about half an hour for the wrinkles to de-wrinkle. Yep. And then I went inside to Noddy's house and snooze on the couch all night. What time was that? All night. No, I mean, what time did you get back into Noddy's house? Before the parade was destroyed, it wasn't me. Probably wasn't me, I mean. I can't be sure. But 90% probably that wasn't me. Questions? Nothing else. On money. Victor. Motive. Had an eating, could have been jealous of the parade. Need something to eat. Rude, only rooks of hunger, maybe just rude in general. Suspicious. I'm giving that one on. Alright. You are suspicious. Okay. We gotta find pies. Hmm. Where are all the pies? Oh, there's one. So I have to give her five. That means it has to be six, right? So three more. Three more. It's not a big place. Oh, look at that. It's a lost pie. Got a lost pie. Hmm. Any more lost pies around? Lost pie. Is this one? Oh, I see one. Alright, that's five. Five. I need one more. Otherwise, I'm... Don't exactly know. Unless she wants five, including her one that's already there. Um, I lost pie here. I can talk to her and see how many I meant to give her.
No, I think because I think you want five, right? Or do you want five total, including your one there? Have I looked everywhere yet? What about like under here? Okay, so if I go into the book, um, her five pies, but I want to give one. Hmm, I, is like a decision to make. I will give you the pies. All right, here you go. Found all your pies. Wow, all of them? I think so. Yep, that looks like all of them. Wow. You must have searched for a while. I searched the Journal of City, yes. Wowie, thank detective. As promised, here's one money. I got one money. I don't think you ever promised pay but thank you anyway. You're welcome. I'll give you a fresh pie too. They're delicious. I'm not very hungry. You can hold on to it if you like. Nonsense. Take one and eat it later when you're hungry. Okay, sure, thanks. Thank you for finding my pies. What if I did it the other way around then? What would happen? Well, I got my pie back. Or maybe it would be like, no, I should give the pies to her first. Yay. Amazing baker. All right. Yeah, you want another pie? Are you still hungry? Yep, very. Making me really rude. For example, I think your jump is outdated. Victor, I'm not the most fashionable frog in the world, but I like to jump. It's my favorite. You're right. It's retro, not outdated. I'm suddenly very hungry. I have pie for you, man. Seriously, score. Yep. He's right. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. And I feel much less rude now. Really? Yep. You have beautiful eyes. Oh, wow. Thank you. It's true. And I think that color jump suits you perfectly. You're making me blush. I should give you something in return for this pie. Hmm. I have a spare party hat I'm using. Maybe you could wear it. I lost my head is simply too weird of a shape. Well, hold on to it anyway. It might come in handy. Thanks. All right. Now we do the whole... We're getting all these... We've talked to everyone. Now we're getting all these items going back and forth. Oh, boom. Well, now they're nice. But what if they were hungry and they got mad? Oh, there is someone in there wearing stuff. But you can still see the clothes they're wearing. Here's a party hat. Carlos, I have something for you. No way. It's a party hat. No way. Wow, I forgot the voice I did. Yes way. That's epic. That's honestly the most epic thing I've heard all day. Thanks, detective. Not a problem. Incorrect. It was a problem. And you solved it. Just like a true detective. Oh, thanks. You made a fan out of me. Here, let me pay you for your work. Oh, no, that's okay. Detective, I insist you take payment. One money should do it. How much money do I have? Thanks. Oh, I also found... Oh, there we go. I was going to say, I don't think I have enough. Rug up back. Not sure what it is, but I figure you're good at solving these tower puzzles. I got a rug. I'll find use for it. Thanks. Best of luck solving the mystery detective. I think this money is going to be important. I mean, the money to... Pay, like, her information when we get all the money will be important. Party hat. Probably borrow one is fine. Maybe invite us to the parade. I hope so. Another face. Saw that last time. Oh, we got a rug. No, who wanted the rug? You wanted something to fix the sign. I forgot who wanted the rug. You want the rug. I really want to know. Give item rug. Great news. What is it? I found a rug. What? Holy guacamole. This is great news. Thanks for the attract it down. This should do the trick. Wow, it looks just like new. Hopefully the band won't notice the mess. I don't think they will. They're in a fish tank anyway. Why? One guess. They're fish. Bingo. Wait, do you mean to tell me you got the most famous band of all time? The Market Buddies. Yep. They're on their way. Wow, I saw them live once and I was blown away. I can't wait. I'm excited too. I can't wait for the parade to begin. I better get back to work so I can solve the mystery before the parade starts. Before you go, I should give you something in return. Oh, I have some building supplies left over when I made the stage. Is that enough? Sure, thank you. Got some building supplies. Got some money. Oh, no, that's okay. It was simply a favor. Don't be silly. You worked here hard to get this, me this rug. I insist. Wow, thanks. 
So I'm missing in this world. Maybe one money. <laughs> it's a lot of money. Wait, one money's always nice. Rug. Long snoot. Alright. Here we go. I got... No, you don't want the building supplies. I can talk to you. I think that's about giving you this stuff. Here we go. Hi, Ralph. Hello, small frog. I managed to track down some building supplies. Oh, great. What exciting news. I'd love to use them if you're okay to hand them over. Of course. Now you got two houses. Maybe. Excellent. Thank you so much. Of course, I must pay you for this. Oh, there's no need really. Shh. I won't hear it. Please take our money. Got the money. Thank you. Also, I think you've earned yourself the title of Honorary Pirate. Wow, really? Me, a pirate? Yes. You have the treasure collecting skills of the finest pirates. For this, I must award you a special prize. Here, take this hook. Oh, I know where the hook's for. Wow, what do you do? You can use it on your hand if you want. Yo, you can use it on something else. I'm not your dad. Ah, uh, not yet. Sorry, oh good, you draw the hook. Alright, let's go give this to the other the um Susan, I think. And then we just got the money one left, which already have the money, but Chris Mayo, yeah, yeah, um give Ida a hook. Uh, I'm back. You're back? Yep. I found your hook. Oh, my stars. Thank you. I can fix my sign right away. That's okay. Welcome. There we go. I would like to repay you for this hook. No, that's okay. I go for free. Nothing is free in this world. Just kidding. Our size is really progressive and often things are actually free. As a sign of my gratitude, please feel free to use my house whenever you need. Oh, it's fairly simple, but beautifully decorated at least. I have a phone too. Great. I'll be sure to use it at some point. Thanks, Susan. Right. I'm going to get a phone number now. We go. Where is she now? Oh, off to the side. All right. Great house. Uh, let's go talk to. Got your name, Mary. Oh boy, I love questions. Here's your five money. Hi, Mary. Hey, detective. How's the extortion going? I think I've got your five money. Well, for real. I didn't think that extortion would work so quickly. That's excellent news. I'm really good at being extorted, I'll say. Anyway, do you have this information for me? Totally. Last night, I saw the postman drop off a parcel. It was around the time the parade got destroyed. I couldn't see who was giving it to you, but it was someone here in town. Barney is the postman's name. He's a chill dude. I don't think he'd mind if you call him up. I have his phone number. May I have it? Absolutely. Got a phone number. Thanks for money. I'm really excited to visit Froggy World. I'm excited for you. Obviously, I have to wait until the parade is over. Of course. See you around, detective. Bye-bye. Phone number. And the money. There we go. Slowly, he's going to be solving this. Maybe I should take a guess who did it. Before, Cause if, if this gives us the answer, let's see our information. Well, we don't know about the invisible wizard yet. Susan, I think, still suspicious. I don't trust her. Ralph, nah. Everyone kept saying it was him, kind of. Then you just made a mistake. I think it is Victor, honestly. No, no, it's not Victor. Do you want to go with the obvious one? Yet yeah, not obvious, Susan. She did it. And then she just destroyed her own sign as well. Yes, that's it. To make herself not suspicious and cold up. Ah. Alright, mysterious number. We don't have a ton of... This is going to obviously get us the final bit of evidence. It might... Oh, finally driving... 
Ah, uh, you can't answer. He's driving. <laughs> oh no. Hi, Barney. Have you on speaker? There we go. That's how you do it. Hi, Barney. Hi. Who am I talking to? Hmm. Lobster cop. Wow. Really? No. I was tricking you. Rats. Who is this noodle? I'm a detective. I'm calling about an incident that happened last night at Warlock Woods. Oh, I didn't do it. Do what? Whatever you're calling about. Was it me? Are you sure? What did I do? Last night, someone destroyed a parade which was being set up for a new resident of the town of the Invisible Wizard. Maybe the Invisible Wizard did it. I was told you in the area when it happened. Oh yeah, I was there. Didn't destroy anything if that's what you're asking. I was just delivering a parcel. Who were you delivering it to? Uh, hmm. What was her name? Oh, Lola. Huh? I don't think there's anyone in the town called Lola. What's close to that? Must have been someone who lives there. Their dress was on the parcel. Though I can't remember exactly which house it was. Sorry. Hmm. Do you remember where the parcel was sent from? Oh, yeah. I deliver a lot of parcels from them. It was from the whizbay.net headquarters. That sounds really familiar. Who talked about that? Where have I heard that name before? Uh, I don't... I know Mandy buys all the stuff from there. But this wasn't for her. Do you know what was in the package? Some sort of shoe, I think. Maybe two. Pair of shoes. So it was the person who bought the shoes that wasn't Mandy, right? Hmm. There's one of... So it's one of the other females. Did you get a good look at them? It was pretty dark. I have no recollection I've really seen anyone. Not even a face. Ha. Huh, weird. Warlock was pretty dark, but I haven't had much trouble seeing anyone before. Me either. It wasn't much darker than normal either. All I remember is a blue dress with stars on it. I'm pretty stumped in this case, Barney. Do you know if there were any clues left behind? A signature on the delivery slip or something? Uh, I didn't get them to sign it. I remember something dropping over the entrance to the woods. I tried to call out and tell them, but they stumbled off before I noticed. Something dropping over at the entrance to the woods. Entrance to the woods, you say? I'll check it out. I don't think he's suspicious. He doesn't need anything. Cool guy. Let's see who he was delivering to. Lola. This one's trying to be on speaker. Wait, can I make him suspicious? Uh, no. Oh. Wait, myself. Modiv. Hmm, I don't think it was me. Hiya! Or maybe I have a red curse. I can't cry so much later. I, I just joking. Pants jumper. It's lobster cop. He's also going to have the crime to give me a challenge. That's really nice of him. Also, I'm likely. Figure out where to put cleaning supplies. Not my office. Okay. No one has the dress. Let's go to the front then. Oh, here we go. These weren't here before, were they? Let's see where. This must be the thing Barney was talking about. Hmm, they're glasses. Who wears glasses? Is it Ralph? That's why he's wearing the iPod? The Invisible Wizard. Oh. Oh, this is my only clue. I think I should try and return to the Cedar Wizard. Should be in the old house near Carlos shop. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that's why it was hard to see who's living in the package too. It was the Invisible Wizard. And you're wearing the blue thing with stars. Oh. So I don't have to be the Invisible Wizard at the moment. Is anyone home? I found these glasses. Letting me in. What the? Why is this place massive now? Hello? <laughs> I could see in, but... Visible wizard, I'm on the lookout for you. I can see you there. Wait, I just want to see if there's anything secret in here first. Pies. Anything? No. Hello there. <laughs> it disappeared! What the hell? He's a wizard. Okay, he's going all over the- oh, I see your hat! I gotta catch him. Come here, wizard! <laughs> Alright, third time to charm. Probably in this corner. Hey, yeah, I got you now. <laughs> no. Oh, I was gonna say last corner, but no, opened. Where are we going? You got so many pies and stuff. Chips. Frog. I am a frog. Hey, 
Maybe you're a fan of mine and you wanted me to come to this place. Ah, who's there? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to startle you. I'm the detective. Oh, thank goodness. You're here to solve the mystery. Yes. Okay. Oh, I don't know where my glasses are. So, so, so solve that as soon as possible, please. Thanks in advance. I found your glasses, I think. Are these yours? Ah, I can see again. That was so quick. You should get a promotion. I don't remember calling Detective Solve This Mystery, but I must have done it. Otherwise, why would you be here, right? Ha ha. Ha, yeah. Well, no. I'm actually here to solve a different mystery. Which one? I don't mean to ruin our surprise, but the town's setting up a parade for you. I'm sorry to tell you that last night someone destroyed it. I've been trying to figure out why. However, I'm noticing that your house is littered with decorations. Where were you last night? I was on Wisbay. I got some new shoes. I picked express delivery. Hey, rather, I guess the delivery was just the new shoes. Hmm. All right, I said, oh, you're Lola. Yes, back to my alibi. I'm going to change the voice. No. I want to pick up my shoes from a delivery guy. I'll slightly change it. And then I dropped my glasses. Oh, and that's all I have to say about that. Are you sure? Yeah, I think someone else must have destroyed the parade. Perhaps one of my enemies. You have enemies? Uh, yeah. Who? The guy. Evil guy. Sorry, what? Enemy. Evil guy. My enemy. Evil guy? Yeah. Are you making this up? No. Evil dude is really my enemy. Don't you mean evil guy? Evil guy. Your enemy. Yes. Where can I contact evil guy? No, he's not able to be contacted. He's very mysterious and he's not available right now. Or ever even. Anyway, he must have destroyed the parade. Case solved. We did it. Well done. Wow. Too bad he's not able to be a prepared, but at least we can continue with our lives. Lola, are you being dishonest? Yes. I'm really sorry. It was me. It was an accident, I swear. You destroyed the prey, didn't you? Ah. <laughs> I didn't know the prey was for me. That's so nice. And I ruined it. When I dropped my glasses, I couldn't find my way home. I was bumping into everything. What happened when you got home? I had some chips stuck to me, so I ate those, and then I just hid. Why didn't you tell anyone what happened? I'm so embarrassed about it. I only just moved in. I already made a big mistake. A very shy lady detective. I make myself invisible so nobody can see me. That must have been why nobody saw you last night. Yes, I suppose. I guess we were in no clothes. <laughs> can you become not invisible, uninvisible, visible? If you insist. There we go. Ta-da! You're a frog like me. Yes. I'm slightly disappointed. What? Well, it's just that I had a good joke prepared. I'll do it anyway. Okay, so imagine that instead of a frog, you are revealed to be a lizard. Oh no. Okay, so you've just been revealed, okay? Pretend. Okay, it's me, a lizard. Wow, so you're not an invisible wizard after all. <laughs> you're an invisible lizard. Yeah, yeah, it was a good joke. But what are the chances of a lizard? I thought so. But you are in a hat. I can't wear hats. Detective, are you going to tell everyone? Hmm. I'm proud of you and it was a mistake. I'm worried that if you tell everyone what I did, they will be upset. I think they'll forgive you, right? But what if they don't? Well, I want to make a good first impression. When we go outside, can you please tell me that was evil guy? But that's a fib. I won't lie, perhaps. But who is it harming, really? Evil guy. Evil guy isn't real. This is a moral dilemma, Lola. Just like in my favorite episode of Poet. Here's your choice, detective. Let's face the music. I've got a choice to make. Hmm. I was told to crime no remote, but still the culprit. Notes. Shy. A frog. This movie made a big mistake. Lie button. Then it's got evil guy. Wants to tell the town I was evil guy. Suspicious. Well. Where's. Why is he. He's like out of order now. I got a banana at the back. Well, I think we know. There was you. Okay, do I tell the truth or not? Hello! Hi, my name is Lola. Hi, Lola. I am a frog, just like me. We're so glad you could make it, Lola. I'm sorry that there's been so much com- I was just trying to get the parade ready for you. I destroyed it last night. Mary, don't tell her that. This oh my god, I'm in my face. I'm sorry that someone destroyed it, Lola. The detective been trying to figure out who did it. Well, detective- have you solved the mystery? I hope it wasn't me. I'd be surprised if it was any of us. I wouldn't. Look at you, looking at you, Ralph. What? Ralph didn't do it, Victor. How many times do we have to tell you? I just don't trust that guy. Rude. No, really no one's going to believe his evil guy, so I should tell the truth. That's how it works. Best we'll find out in the moment. Come on, detective. 
Or everyone forgive Lola. I'm gonna do both options, obviously, but... Um... I feel like you don't want to start off your new place and be lying to you. Like, you were basically lied to your town the whole time. Or well, that's why you were remember. You'll always be thinking about that. Lola did it. Be honest and face it. Well, I saw the mystery. Who was it? It was Lola. What? It was an accident. Lola dropped her glasses last night while picking up some shoes she bought on Wiz Bay. Oh my gosh, those are the shoes I really wanted. They look amazing. Lola can't sleep without her glasses, so she had a lot of trouble getting home last time. She bumped into just about everything. I'm so sorry. I feel awful. I realized what had happened when I lost... I thought the chips stuck to me. I ate them. They were delicious. The parade was for me all along and I didn't realize. Lola was very scared of your actions as so she hid in a house out of shame. Oh, Lola, it's okay. See, it'd be fine. You should have told us we completely understood. Yeah, Mary does stuff all the time. Yeah, I really do. Plus, nobody tried to vacuum you up. So I feel like the parade being destroyed is kind of fine. I thought she was a ghost. That's what they all say. <laughs> we're all really excited you're here, Lola. We don't need decorations anyway. I really thought Ralph did it. Victor, Victor apologized to Ralph. Ralph, I'm so sorry I accused you. It's okay. I'm also sorry. I really didn't mean to destroy the parade, but I should have spoken up when I did. I'm very nervous, lady. Plus, what a terrible first impression. Not as bad as my first impression. Wait, Barney's here. What did you do? I ran over Mary by accident. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, that was really painful. <laughs> should we do this party started? What do you think, Lola? Yes, please. Okay. Party time. Let's go. Everyone dance it. Oh, he solved it. I gotta go do the other ending. I'll we'll see what happens. I wonder if I have to replay the game. No, you can choose a scene to load up. So no, I don't have to. At least in the first one you could. Hey, I got the hat on. <laughs> I guess I got to get a really big hat like Lola does. And then maybe it would work. Maybe my frog head's different. Oh, because her eyes are on her front, not on her head. X would cover my eyes. Got the band playing. Dance, dance. There we go. Everyone dance. I wonder, is it going to be like more stuff happening like what, the first one? Do, 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 do. Warlock Woods. We did it. Thanks for playing. That was good. Loading. Faced a big moral dilemma a little bit later. I was just going to be back in the uh, office. There we go, dancing. Oh, that's when we, maybe that's what that was. When we went to see the band. We did say we saw them once. Wasn't the case. Hello. Project of Crime Solving Energy. Project is speaking. How may I solve your mystery? Detective. Supervisor. It's me, the supervisor. I am aware. Great job of solving the invisible wizard mystery. That was quite a head scratcher. Sure was. I was shocked that the culprit was the wizard herself. Yeah, the mystery I solve is never what they seem. It's always a misunderstanding or an accident. Nobody's ever malicious on purpose in my mysteries. I'm so glad that crime isn't real. Maybe the third one would be different. Didn't you get extorted earlier? Uh, yes. I think that's a crime. I suppose that crime is real after all. Your office is called Fraud Detective Crime Solving Agency. Yes. Detective, why do you believe that crime isn't real? I was simply exaggerating. Plus, despite my job title, I never really seem to be solving crimes. That's going to get changed in a moment, I think, Detective. Oh, super duper. I just got a call about a doozy of a case, Detective. That sounds exciting. It is, but it's also the most challenging case I've ever sent you on. I'm confident in your abilities, but you might need backup on this one. What's that image behind you? <laughs> oh, I like who. I'm going to send Lobscop to help you with the case. Really? Lobscop handles such advanced cases. I won't slow. Won't I just slow him down? Nonsense, detective. You're showing you're a very capable mystery solver. Lobscop's the culprit then. <laughs> I think you're in the running to be a Jew number one. You're making me blush. You'll be a A. Okay. So where am I headed next? I can't say over the phone. It's too sensitive. Wow. Head to the train station. I've left a ticker for you there. The train will take you to where you need to be. Good luck, detective. Do you think you can handle it? I can handle anything. Okay. 
We're going now? No. Our de detective has left. What's happening? Um. Who's in here? Lobster got? Is he plotting something? I left my book. Notes, what? Who's that? What's that hand? Who was that? I think that was Lobster Cup. Guess we'll find out later at the station. Got my ticket. Hey, it's a worm. Maybe. Or uh, okay. a worm. That's a small train. We're going. All right. We're in the middle of nowhere, meeting the supervisor. There we go. The detective will return in. What's it called? Cowboy Con County. Corruption at Cowboy County. Alrighty. Is that it? I think so. Nothing's happening there. Loading. Hey, we did it. All right, let's get the other ending then. The evil guy did it. Well, I solved the mystery. Who was it? It was evil guy. Who? Evil guy is Lola's nemesis. He's very evil guy. Yeah. He's stuck in last and destroyed everything because he hates Lola. Yeah. Unfortunately, because he made he is made of slime, he got away before I could apprehend him. Yes, so unfortunate. However, Lola has since cast a very special spell that will make sure he never returns. Wow, evil guy sucked. Yeah, I'm so sorry I did that to you, Lola. It's okay. At least there was nobody here, right? Right. I'm so sorry I couldn't catch evil guy, but now we know that Lola is safe and everyone's happy that she's here. Yeah, I'm sorry that he caused such a big mess. Really irresponsible if you ask me. I'm sure he feels really bad about it and would want you to forgive him. Isn't he evil? Yeah, I thought he was evil. Oh, hey, Barney. Hi. Yeah, he's evil. Evil guy. Well, case solved. Well done, detective. Thanks. Should we get the parade started? We don't have time to fix up the decoration. Sorry, Lola. I'm just happy to be here. Let's party. Okay. We'll just do the thing again. We'll get a different achievement, though. All right, then. Oh, wait. That's not true. Complete your notebook. Oh, I got to complete your notebook after that ending. Interesting. Okay, I got two other achievements. What were you thinking in haste? Stop. I don't know what those ones are. Give item pie. A pie for you. Where did you find the pie? I found it on the ground. Sorry, detective. You may have to speak out these hot tube jets. I mean, I found this pie on the ground over there. Detective, I don't want to eat a ground pie. I've made a mistake. I'd say maybe even two. Two mistakes? Yes. Yeah, someone said we're giving you a pie, a dirty pie, another. I guess they wouldn't let you. That does not belong to you. That's right, detective. Though I'm visiting from out of town, I know that this was one of Mandy's pies. They are delicious. If you just happen to find it on the ground, it cannot be yours to give away, so I cannot accept it. You're right, Victor. I have made two mistakes. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, and I am sorry. That's okay, detective. I'll be watching you. You should return the pie to Mandy. Okay, I'll do that. There we go. What were you thinking? That was like the only other option I had. Okay, now the other thing is hey, stop that. Big spender. What would that be? I have to be at the shop. Buy photo, three money. Well, this picture, three money. I have three money. Would you like to buy it? Yes, I would like to buy this picture with my three money. It's all yours. Wait, then what? 
Hi, Detective. I'm sorry to interrupt you. As you may remember, I'm great at some of this game with my studio club. I was tracking your progress when I noticed that you spent your money on a picture. You've really complicated things for me. See, there's only five money in the game. In order to solve the mystery, you need all five money, but you spent three money. So now what? If I was anyone else, I'd end the game here. However, I'm very generous and kind. I'm going to give you three money so you can solve the mystery. This comes from my own pocket, so please don't spend on anything that isn't relevant to the story. I'll let you get back to it, and yes, you can keep the picture. Nice. Big spender. Oh. <laughs> Suspect. I can't. I'm surprised I didn't... I got the other gym if I complete the notebook then. Can I spend it again? I guess I already bought the picture for three money and... Nothing else costs that much. Alright, well that's it for Frog Detective. Got everything. Got all the achievements. Um, that was fun. Alrighty, and that is going to wrap it up for Frog Detective 2, the case of the invisible wizard. Um, we obviously did a bunch solve the mystery. Uh, heading on to the third game now, which might have a bigger mystery. Maybe some actual crime going on. Someone saw our book. There seems to be a big picture going on. Do we trust Lobster Cop as well? Who knows? I guess we're going to figure everything out in the next one. But that was fun. Solved the case. Got all the achievements. Good game. But anyway, that's going to do it for Frog Detectives 2. So, have this episode. And if you did, please sure like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode.